it's not the kind of story you tell on the air. Right, know. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Dirk, when they changed the title from Baba Black Sheep to the present title, The mm. Black Sheep Squadron, what else changed about the show? Well, we have uh, lost a character, unfortunately, uh, Gutterman, the character that James Whitmore Jr. played. Uh, for what reasons, uh, I really don't know. But however, the show uh, is going to, we, we should have more female characters in the show this season. And the main reason that the title was changed was apparently a lot of people were thinking that Baba Black Sheep, like the nursery rhyme, was a kid's show. So they changed it to the Black Sheep Squadron, which gives it a much more formal military feeling to it. And uh, apparently it's doing much better under the new title and the new time slot because we've been picked up, as you know, for the rest of the season. Yeah. Uh, were there any problems in getting you all back together again? No, uh, all but Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of us are back and up there flying around and doing all the things we did last season, just on the new nights, that's all. Yeah. Your uh, character, is it uh, based on a real character? We know, of course, there was a, there is a Pappy Boyington. Right. Well, these characters, uh, I think, were based on a lot of different characters that were, you know, flu fluctuated around the area. And Stephen Cannell, who's the executive producer of the show, wrote the pilot and created the characters and since the early creation we all took the characters and went as far with them as we possibly could or wanted to uh, in that uh, you know I took my character and said okay well he's young and uh, and my first the first show I did I was supposed to be afraid that I was going to get killed so I took it upon myself and said he's the youngest and he, he's afraid he's going to get killed I saw a naive quality there so I played I play him naive quite a bit and uh, and uh, other characters did the same and, and transferred their characters a lot, uh, many times as uh, close to transposing their own characters as possible. Dirk, you get a lot of attention because your name is Dirk Blocker. You're Dan Blocker's son, youngest, mm -hmm. youngest True. of four, right? True. Now, do the other guys in the series, do they resent that because, you know, people like myself, the media, you know, we zero in on you because, you know, there's a story there. Well, I don't think in this particular case that there is any resentment on our show because I, I to tell you the truth I don't feel any resentment towards anyone on the show and it, it seems that our show has got a quality of brotherhood on it almost that uh, that was there from the day one we uh, we all got together well the casting was exquisite in that we all mesh together and I think that that fine mesh and that quality together uh, brings a, a nice viewing uh, situation I think people who watch can see the the quality of the people that we all seem to have within each other but if you were in their shoes, would you resent that one guy gets so much press and to the exclusion of the sure. others? Well, I, I understand what you're saying, uh, and I'm, I'm sure that probably happens a lot. And I went through some guilt situations when I was first coming into the business because it's so very difficult. There's so much competition in the acting business uh, that I went through some guilt problems where I thought, you know, here are some guys who've been doing theater for 20 years and some guys who've been busting their butt or whatever to get anywhere, to get a meet a producer to, to, to get a Screen Actors Guild card so they can work in the first place. It's very tough to do any of these things. And I realized that. Uh, and the only way I can justify the fact that I was allowed to do the things I can do because of my name was the fact that I don't think I would still be acting and doing what I'm doing some four and a half years later after, since I started if I didn't have some talent to go along with it. I think that if you're not talented and you get the name and the chance to go out there and do something, then you will fall to the wayside after a, a short period of time. You know, you might get one or two shows, but I've worked pretty steadily, and knock on wood, and I'm very happy and very fortunate. Dirk, of course, there is no way that you could ever deny the fact that you're Dan Blocker's son. You could call yourself Dirk Glutz. <laughs> it would make a bit of difference because you look like him so very much. Do you or have you uh, in any way at all tried to emulate your father rather rather on the screen or off? Well, uh, I would say not emulate. I, I emulate him as a man. I, I loved him as a father, and I, and I, I thought the world of him as a man. Uh, however, no, I, I would say I, I, I certainly don't try to, to, to copy or to, to take anyone's style, any actor for that matter. Uh, no, I would say that I don't do that. I, at least I, I make a conscious attempt not to. Dirk, I enjoyed very much always when I talked with your father, and I've enjoyed meeting you and talking with you as well. Good luck to you. Well, thank you very much. Can I say one thing? You bet. Dallas, number one. <laughs> super, super. <laughs> Yeah.
This is Dirk Blocker inviting you to watch the Black Sheep Squadron here on TV5. Turn this mess around.